Okay, here we are at the start of the route from Sheldon Country Park through to Chelmsley Wood Centre. As you can see, this is a sort of service the road, but as you can see at this end, it's uh, blockaded against through traffic, through motor traffic, and has numerous bridges linking the residential areas to the right. But there aren't any houses along this route, so there's really no reason for non-motorised traffic to travel through here. Which makes it an ideal spot for walking and cycling. The surfacing it leaves a little bit to be desired. It's quite rough, but easily they can easily cope with my touring tyres. Otherwise, pretty decent. Here we have a short on-road section. Ideally this would be a seamless transition from the paths, but it's quite a quiet road, easily manageable. Okay. Okay. Here the sort of service road becomes a shared use pathway and further along around the corner it becomes segregated by a white line but the path is still pretty narrow and makes it rather difficult to overtake pedestrians. On our right we have a relatively new housing development which now has access to the stretch of shared use path providing nice pedestrian and cyclist access all the way into the town centre. Not the greatest social safety in a bridge. Okay, here we have a path okay, up to the right and around that will lead to the Asda complex in front of the Chelmsford Centre. Again, not quite seamless as it's all pavement up there and quite a few pedestrian barricades and whatever. But we'll carry on.
Park. Not the greatest social safety in a bridge. Uh, here we have a path the up to the right and around that will lead to the ASDA complex in front of the Chelmsford Centre. Again, not quite seamless as it's all pavement up there and quite a few pedestrian barricades and whatever. So we'll carry on.